With a welcome back, one and all, to this legendary Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Let's play. We're on part 37. I can't believe it. But the last episode was an absolute banger. So feel free to check that out. They're all in a handy playlist up on the channel. But we're going to get right into this. This backstory to Red 13 has been absolutely amazing. I'm loving these little backstories to each character where they're really fleshing out the stories and everything that's going on with them. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. The boss battles, the music, everything about this game. Please feel free to check out the other uploads that are up on the channel. And we're going to get into this. Without further ado, let's go. Within that piece, flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled with wonders. I bid you seek them out. We will escort fellow Bugenhagen back home. Take care, friends. They're going to be taking Bugenhagen back home. I did discuss in the last episode whether he was a bad guy or not. Part of me did feel that he might have been a baddie, but turns out he's all right. So we don't need to worry about that. So we're going to push forward here. These little backstories for Barrett, Ari, uh, Yuffie, stuff like that. They've all been so good at expanding the universe. Going to lower the music a little bit here. The audio mixing in this game is not the best. Um, it can definitely overpower the vocal of the characters a little bit. I'm scared out of my wits here. It's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Inlet of the Lost. Oh my god, look at this. It's like a Mako River. Holy shit. Everything about this game, the attention to detail, the lighting. The only thing I can say that's terrible about it is the downscaling filter they've used i think it's a little bit on the blurry side it's quite noticeable and they could have done a better job with that the combat camera can be clunky and targeting and sometimes your party members get in your way oh and the mini games there's too many mini games but none of that matters to me because the game's so the good points are so good it overpowers all the bad unless it's materia you can count me out how strange you should mention materia my people are also in search of it <laughs> okay all aboard i love you she's got such a mad personality i hmm. was gonna sink this boat i'm telling you boom yeah little details like that were when he's dropped in the boat it's uh he's rocked the boat with his weight little details like that they really add more immersion to the game and the world swaying with the rocking of the boat i want to move less not more <laughs> didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard well only because he mentioned materia be quiet the planet is listening and what's wrong with that anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the cetera Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> oh dear. You are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? 
Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Oh, do we get a bit of a flashback here? A bit of history, maybe? Oh, no. So there I am, on the ground. Oh, we're back to Zack. Nice. Watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. I can't get over how much Biggs looks like Charlie Sheen. Picks <laughs> up out of nowhere. Tugs at me so hard. Feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. But then the wind starts blowing. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. You can say that again. <laughs> I somehow the story is so deep. Wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. I don't think Biggs knows they're alive. Interesting. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So I'm really loving the way they've expanded Zach's uh, sort of backstory and stuff. He's going to play a real bigger so, picture in this game, him. as you'll find out later on. He's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover... You can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been no through ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? If the Come on. Are down, the guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A Zack of all on? trades. Why? It's going on over and Cause it's one's not one enough. Think about it. a good day started right here. The Zack knows the real cloud, quote unquote, real cloud. I won't spoil it, but uh, if you played the original game, if you know, you know. Wink, wink. But uh, stay tuned for the rest of the series to actually discover the intricacies of Zack and Cloud's history together. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar. Fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Pedal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Do that. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. We just met him, I was your friend. <laughs> oh well, we roll with it. 
The mayor's in a like similar Zack and Cloud are. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. It's Didn't used to, but things changed. Went market. through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time sure, I've been given. Figure something out, right? I mean, they got it. They really have gone into great detail with these backstories, and I really appreciate what they've done. Um, hey, Biggs. It paints such you a better, bigger before, picture. I try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh... How long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. These My internal days, clock's busted. I sleep, yeah, I dream mine too. About all the things I wish What's I'd that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So... Did they both lost track of time? Interesting. I just so clearly something's amiss here. The cloud that he's discussing and talking about is not the cloud that Zack remembers. So just bear that in mind as we follow the series forward. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how. Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the guy with Aerith. Right? Whoever brought you I back, mean, I guess. And assume there us? was someone. Who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want. Start by robbing folks and stock it it's up. It's just up it. ahead. Quit it. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. I wonder if it's a trap, like a double bluff trap for us, and not them. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh? New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <sighs> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. That was under the impression that he thought they were dead, but... He said he'll visit Cloud, so perhaps I misunderstood that. Oh, huh.
Let's go, Zaki boy. I do like Zack, he's a pretty cool character. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> oh, Marlene's well cute. Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. <laughs> Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. So this is a flashback scene, it must be. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy. Oh yeah, I remember again. now. Cloud and Aerith are in... Yeah, it's very so confusing, the timeline. The Cloud and Aerith are sort of in a coma, enough, coma state Lord. upstairs. Soon enough. I'm still trying to get my head around sort of this part of the story. It's me. There she is. That was you, wasn't it? Hello in there. So this is why she's got a bit of a thing for Cloud, because she used to date Zack. She used to be in love with Zack. It was like a first proper boyfriend. So it's the live stream giving her memories. Right. Interesting. Nice. That makes sense now. Okay. We've arrived. We've arrived. Uh. A bit of a sinister geezer. Still standing. <laughs> She's great, Yuffie. I love her. She's so good. Oh, he's leaving us. Holy shit. Welcome to the village of the Gee. Whoa, what is going on, dude? What's that we got? Oh, a new weapon. Let's go, baby. Ceremonial staff. Nice. That'll be for Harry. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to get our upgrades done now. Uh, we got a little bit of points to spend here, actually. Increased damage dealt to staggered enemies. Definitely a good one. Uh, let's see what we got here. Max HP will take that all day long. You can never have enough health on this game. Have we got enough to, to buy another Nord here? Well, she's ice magic without spending MP. Definitely needed. Uh, hold on. We got another. Yeah, we got another synergy ability, Relentless Rush. Cool, cool. Fire magic with that MP, definitely needed. Max HP, like I said, no brainer. Moving on to Erif now. We've got quite a lot of points to spend with Erif. So, magic attack by 20. Yeah, that's a good one. Unleash ice magic. Affects a wide range, definitely. Let's have a look at this minor node. Synergy skills and abilities. Not too bothered about that. Everything you fear. Quite good. Ward duration by 25%. Definitely. Ward is one of her key abilities. Tempest damage. Definitely. It's looking like we don't have enough SP 
to get another node here. So we're going to move on to red. Uh, MP by three, maybe. HP absorbed with Siphon Fang. Yeah, that's a very good one. Siphon Fang's a great ability. Avengers mode duration. HP recovery. Uh, yeah, Avengers mode. That's a good one as well. We will pick that up. It's looking like we don't really have enough here to buy anything else. We'll move on to Tifa. Unbridled Strength. Barrett and Tifa hone their focus. Uh, I don't really like them three ATV ones. They can be useful, but... Increases critical hit rate by 5%. Definitely. And we'll go with Bodyguard as well. It's interesting is some of the synergy abilities can be used even when they're not in the party with you. So bear that in mind when you're making these choices. Um, we've not looked up a guide or anything. We are just picking out what we like the look of. Which is far from optimal. So discrete enemy parts by 5%. That's a big one. Look by 50. That's a big one. Fire magic without expending MP. Another great one. Kate Sif is a very interesting character. We're not really to, got to grips with how he fights and stuff, but we're getting there. Reduces fire, ice, lightning, wind damage by 10%, definitely. Reduces damage taken by Moogle by 15%. Nice. And I think that's about it, guys and girls. Let's go. It was spent up. Going to rejuve the party here on the bench. Make sure everyone's tickety-boo, tippity-top. We have a look here. A couple of cheap mega portions we could probably pick up. Um, ooh, materia to raise people back up. They're definitely going to come in handy, right? So many materia options in this game as opposed to the last one. It's kind of insane, actually. I was going to make a pit stop save here. As we've progressed and done quite a lot of things. Make sure it all st saves in. Let's go, uh, Yuffie. What's what she's doing? are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. I can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. True. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? 
<laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. Spooky stuff. The one thing we did actually forget to do we set up our party. So we got Cloud, Barrett, and Earth. We are gonna get our materia and equipment set up. So we're gonna be going with a snail shell bracelet. On all three of these, so we got one uh, cloud. Uh, bulletproof vest. Let's have a look. What's best here? Vitality. MP by 10. Magic power by 5. HP up, earrings, definitely a biggie. Oh, that music's sick. Uh, so we've got assessed materia here on cloud, lightning, fire, fire, and ice, lightning. Um, I'm going to stick a revival materia here on cloud. Quite interested in augmenting the stats again. Barrett, we've got some damn good fine stuff on Barrett at the moment. Uh, really leveling him up nice. Give him a revival. And uh, let's have a look. HP up. We could do with another one of them HP up. Ring earrings, actually. So this one increases HP by 5% as well. Do lose a bit of attack for it, though. Increases limit gorge fill rate by 10%. Ooh, that's quite a big one, isn't it? Yeah, we'll stick that on uh, Barrett and Earth here. Um, we might be better off going with the speed one. Um, It's a tough one. We'll give her the magic power for now. Um, materia wise, what are we actually rocking? Barrier, HP up, healing, fire, ice. We'll give her a revival. Um, tough one, really. Give her a prayer. We we'll give her a revival, and we may give her a lightning. Also, we need to check which abilities. Right, so we're working on arcane ward at the moment. That's fine. Looks like we're good to go here. Time to move on. Autobots roll out. Except we're not Autobots, but you get the... Uh... Holy shit. Let's go, baby. So we've not actually assessed these ones yet. So let's uh, let's just see what they do. Exploiting their element of weakness with magic attacks or hitting them with a hit with, with healing spells will pressure them. That is very intriguing. They spin their space to deflect all range physical attacks, hitting them with a strong close range attack. While they are doing this, will pressure them. Okay, so if we do like uh, Breva. Could do big damage. Yeah. 
So let's just try this out. Let's try and put a heal on one. Oh shit, I've got no heal. Um, they are weak to fire though. Let's just have a look here. Bonus round, focus shot. Um. Oh, damn. Do we overcharge it? Oh, see, see what I mean about the targeting? Like, he's completely gone on the wrong target there for me. Why the hell? So we are going to use our prayer ability. Okay. Heal everyone back up. We'll These guys are a royal pain in the ass to uh, take down. The fire is super effective. Do better heal up. Um, why have we not got heal on any of my characters? Ah, right. We, we have got it on Barrett, but nobody else. Oh, I'm dead. The cloud's petrified here. Oh my god, they're all petrified. We're all petrified, GG. Oh, dude. We definitely, definitely, definitely... Um, we're going to need the earrings off uh, red. I really thought we got past this, but clearly we haven't. So we are going to have to rejig a few things here. So we got prayer. Barrier, prayer, heal. So we have got heal. Oh, hold on. No, I'm lying. I'm lying to you. So we're going to need heal. Uh... Saw that out now, actually. When we find it, like, what the hell? We're going to test the healing material of red. Barrier healing. Fire healing. All right, we're also going to have to take the... Earrings off uh, of the necklace, which makes us immune to petrify. Definitely going to need that, sadly. Uh, here we go, round two. Ready, fight. So we're going to do Cura on this bad boy. There we go. Big pressure. It just changes target and it's so frustrating. That's one down. This is why the assessment area is so bloody crucial. Um, learning things like this, where we can super pressure the target.
We have completely run out of MP though now. So we're gonna use our Arcane Ward here, which is an absolutely immense ability, which actually gives us the ability to double cast. So here we go. Gonna give this a shot here with Fira. Boom, boom. Oh, big damage, baby. Oh my gosh. Awesome. With the oh my gosh. Love that. So we're going to actually have to run all the way back to the bench here. Sadly, completely. Oh, where's the bench gone? So we're completely out of MP, like for real. Uh, it's kind of insane. Doesn't seem to be any ether pots at the vendor either. I just hope it doesn't respawn uh, like a Dark Souls gig with these guys up here. It's going to be a real pain in the ass if that's the case. We've definitely got our gear sorted for the area though. We've got fires, heals, uh, anti-petrify, mechanics. Keep pushing forward and unveil the secrets of this area. So as you can hear, literally, the, the audio mix in this game is quite dreadful in places. Um, the music's amazing, uh, don't get me wrong. But I do feel that you kind of have to have your music. Like, even if you put it on one. It's made no difference, can you see? Um, which is kind of insane, uh, really. Um, when you think about it, ah, it's the song volume, not the music. Okie dokie. Right, interesting. It's having the music and the song volume there. That's something to bear in mind for y'all if you're having the same issues that I'm having with the audio mix. Drop your song uh, volume down a little bit. You should be golden. There we go. The triple slash is kind of useful here. Not only does it hit all three, but it's classed as an augmented physical attack. So it does break them down very quickly. But it also generates meter, which is really, really good. And it's going to save us a little bit of MP. But as you can see with the triple slash, it's doing great damage and pressure to all three. Ah, uh, they've just hit me with... Uh, Three arrows there. Of, um... Of Petrify. And try and get... Arusaki and Ward up here if we can. Cloud's in a lot of trouble, actually. If Cloud goes down here, we're in shit, because he's the only one that's immune to Petrify. We're going to make sure that we keep Cloud up here. Oh shit, Aerith. That is not good, mate. Not good. At all. Holy moly. We are literally dead here. Right, we're going to have to heal up. Oh my god. Let's try that 
We should be able to finish it with our limit break. Yeah, beautiful. That was actually really difficult. Um, like, like, we're so low here now. Use Barrett's Cure on Cloud. I mean, it may be beneficial each time to keep running back to the bench here as a tactic. I've got a feeling that this materia is the white materia that Earth owns. Um, I've got a real, real strong feeling that that is what they're actually looking for. To find peace. Uh, and I believe Earth may release these. It's just a guess. I could be wrong, but we'll see what happens here. Certainly sounding like they're referring to Earth's materia, which is sort of white and pure. Or white is deemed as a pure colour, do they say in storytelling generally? Um, we'll see what happens here though. Certainly interesting, nevertheless. My god, this place is huge. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. I think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. Who that? And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands? I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. A little late for that. Find it kind of strange that Care Sif's Scottish. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, shit. Is this a trap or. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, pure is the materia no more. With pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one she knows. She's figured it out. It is hers. I know it. I know it. Come on. Make me right. Oh, shit. What's going on? Death for Rob. we can let this go but for now we play along interesting so cloud thinks it's a bad idea okay hmm. oh my god there's four of them so we're gonna use uh i wonder hold on can we use prayer on them all Let's see if we can actually use prey on them all. Oh no, it automatically used it on the party. Okay. No problem. So when they block, it's when we need to do stuff like uh, point blank. Do 
do we need to get up our arcane ward and then we need to try our heat wave out here big damage jesus man just taking a little break So we're going to use our fire spell on this bad boy. We have got him staggered there. Uh, we'll use Barrett's Gura. Burning three spells here. It's kind of insane, actually. I still think the target switching is a little bit bad in this game. Uh, trying to sort of focus your efforts. Oh my god, it's come back to life. Oh no. Thanks for coming to help. Yeah, he's actually come back to life, dude. It's your turn. I got this. Alright, here we go. Cloud, big damage, mate. Do it for us. That's one. So, oh shit, we're out of fucking MP again. Nice, did big damage there. We'll do focus shot here. Hopefully break through. Boom, big damage. We got one left to go. Uh, we'll do maximum fury. Build this sucker. We we'll use our fireball blade twice here. He's doing everything he can to get back. We missed two fireball blades there, but. As much as it's going to annoy me, I think we do need to have a massive run back to the bench uh, and just get ourselves prepared for whatever's around the corner. I just do not feel that without going back and refilling our resources that this is going to be an easy battle. By any means, I'll be really annoyed though if we run all the way back here and then we get around the corner and there's actually a, a bench up there. That has happened in this last play series twice already. But I can't risk it. I truly cannot risk it. We need to make sure that our resources are tippity top. Oh my God, this is quite a long run. Holy shit, is this how far we came up? I don't even remember coming this far, you know. Like, it was pretty far, right? They haven't put this bench here for, for no reason whatsoever. So we're just going to re, re, uh, re, rejuvenate, so to speak. All right, so it's time to run our asses back all the way up. We're also going to check the item. Transmutation. We can actually make some ether here. Um, so we're definitely be transmuting a bit of that. We've got four bottles of ether. Hopefully at some point we are going to learn how to transmute mega ether or Super ether or whatever they want to call it. So we can uh, 
make sure we can refill our MP. Which is one of the only things that I have been struggling with. I do apologise for, uh, for taking this backtracking route, but I feel that it was needed. Like I said, if there's a bench just up here, I will be pretty upset. But generally in the Final Fantasy games, they do know where to put sort of optimally placed benches and tents and stuff like that. But we'll see how it goes. So here we are. Is this it? Oh, we got another... Oh, we've got... Holy shit. I mean, look how big this cavern is. It's huge, boys. Wow. Oregano and sage. Cooking a bit of a Italian dish. Born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now. Our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. I've got a feeling we're gonna have a big ass boss battle with this dude. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. The suspense is killing me. Come on, do something. An eternity. The materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia, key to our oblivion. The Black Materia. Please. Has been featured in other games. Can Could be powerful. Endless dream. The key cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship or temple. You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now, hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need. I have the right read. <laughs> but he's kind of but you can trust him. He's kind of not alive really either, which is kind of weird, right? So he's kind of the same in a way, I would say. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. Uh oh, here we go. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. I wonder if we are going to help him or not. It's interesting. Certainly interesting. Ah, uh, I guess we're back. Yeah. 
We could have done that in the first place and saved us the boat trip. <laughs> or maybe we're still in that cave. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Oh, Red and his dad. What a great little story that was. So there you go, guys. Another action-packed, filled episode for y'all. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. The story's just getting so deep, man. There's so much to take in. And I just can't wait to see where or how deep this rabbit hole is actually going to go. If you did enjoy today's content consider subscribing we are a new channel we're trying to hit 500 subscribers currently and i think we're around 365 something like that so we're very very close and your subscription to me which is free could tip us over the edge and bring us up to our first 500 subs but with all that out of the way i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one and it's going to be a banger so make sure you join me peace out <laughs>